Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I knew that guy was going to run me over. Hold on, on that side. In this video, we're going to be talking about cars I have that were inspired by cars that I had as a kid, or still have, actually, to some extent. This one needs a little work. So it's, it's one of those larger kinds. Of, I'll try and get a picture of it. I'll try and get some pictures going here. Just to make things interesting. Where is... Okay, good. And this this case here with this Sterling GT, I'm going to try and make it more like the one I had as a kid. It's going to be a while before these videos get up because there's going to be a lot of editing and photos and taking and looking for stuff and doing different things. Again, this is a pure vanity piece, so, so I can watch and enjoy myself. Right? Especially if I'm stuck on a trip and I just want to look at my cars. <laughs> Which What's may be now? happening. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Just got back from one. Hopefully not another one for a while. So armor is all good. Brakes are good. Bumpers. We don't want to delete the rear bumper. We like the rear bumper. Exhaust, explosives, grill, hood. I think we're going to want to go back to primary hood for this. See, that's the stock hood. We're going to go primary. Primary drag hood. That's new. See, a lot of this didn't exist before. Okay, let me, let me, give me a moment here. Okay, I've got mine in hand now. And mine doesn't have, it doesn't have the, the inlets, but it does have the bulges. So we're going to go with this as, as close as we can get. And uh, I think actually I'm missing a front bumper on this. So we might actually, I might actually do the bumper, I'm missing the bumper on both, both sides. Look at that. And the trunk is barely hanging on here. This is, I've had this for, well, what, 30 years, something like that. Made in Italy? Well, that's interesting. Mercedes 300 SL from 1954. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to work with this. So we're going to go with the primary hood. Bumpers, okay, rear bumper delete because mine has fallen off. <laughs> I think we can't do can't do anything with the front bumper. Okay, so I don't know. Should I put put the as far as the bumper? Should I leave it because I think I'll probably find mine at some point. Yeah, we can go back and forth on that. Just cheap. So that's hood. Lights. We're going to put a neon kit on it. Just because it needs one. Livery. Now this is where they've added a lot. White stripes, obviously not going to do much for us here. Black stripes, no, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some numbers. Now those those actually match the blue stripes that are on the fender, so that's you know, you know, might not be bad. Here's a number, but it's really plain. Number, but too plain. Number, weekend racer, track day warrior. That kind of looks more like the numbers on mine. Mine's 452. You will probably put a little picture up in here. No, 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 no. Stronzo. Well, I mean, it's the wrong colors. So I'm going more of a a blue here, red and blue. And we're down. So we don't really get what we're looking for. As always, it's going to have to be some kind of compromise. Well, who's texting me at this time of day? Okay, that's that's a good that's a good text. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, so if I match the red and blue colors, I'm gonna miss. Okay, oh, is, is there secondaries on this? Could we do something? All right, let's do this. Seven sixty two is probably. Let's go one of the the full racing setup kind of thing. Either the Stronzo, that's a that's a good look. Mine isn't necessarily that tricked out as far as sponsors. Alpine Tour, it's 52. Mine's 452 and that's 52. I think we're going to have to go to 52. All right. It's simple. I would have preferred a little bit more stripes, but hey, we got numbers and stuff on it. It's, it's a thing. 
So we still haven't gotten to respray. Primary color, we're gonna do with a metallic. We saw we got a metallic ice white. Secondary color. Metallic, what is the secondary effect? Not much. I think we'll go blaze red because I do have a red interior on mine. Does it have a roll cage? No roll cage, but it has. Matter of fact, the windows are falling out on it. This thing is ancient. But that would, uh, I go grace red. We'll give it a little something. I got crew emblem at roll cage. I can take the roll cage out. <laughs> It, with the racing thing, though, you know, you need the rally cage and safari cage. Okay, I don't think we need the safari cage. Okay, so these existed before. Mine doesn't have the tape over the, the headlights. It also doesn't have anything on the back trunk, so... Let's just go with a regular ro roll cage and chassis upgrade. Roof spoiler? Oh, that's just egregious. I don't want any of that. Um, spoiler. You could go to a simple ducktail, which completely still spoils the back of it, but it is better than the wheel, I think. I would have liked something a little different here, but... We'll go with the ducktail just because it's not the wheel. Slam the suspension, which does hardly anything. Transmission is already revved up. Turbo. Wheels. Okay, and these I think I matched up pretty darn. No, I didn't even. I didn't even try. Okay, so wheel type. Oh, uh, where is the closest? Probably the low rider is going to be where I find these. These look chromed, so we're going to do chromed. Not, that looks good. That looks just about perfect I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna get better than that but if you can look that looks good but it's not the the crisscross same crisscross that that's a very good look for it but no we're not that is that's that's exactly what we needed so it's not a perfect, perfect homage. But. And let's, let's do this. Tires. Tire smoke. Are we bulletproof? Yes, we're bulletproof. Tire design. White walls? No. This is. That kind of looks good. Doesn't match the what I'm, what I'm shooting for here. Now, this is still going to be parked over in my... Oh, Pack, Pack Road Jones. All right. I'll do that. Different video. What, did he pull it back? What the... Come on. I, I tried. I totally tried. Maybe it filled up? All right. Well, we're going to go back to doing what we were doing. And if he invites us again, we'll hop in on that. This is the first time I'm playing a full-fledged and not hampered by using an old laptop GTA in a couple weeks. Well, that's not this video. Actually, the last video. But, you know, it's today. Wee bang How is that a failed stunt? You tell me. That was awesome. Now, I don't obviously have the HSW version of this, which this is now one of the new fastest cars that there is. And we could check this once we get close to where we can escape the police. This is the new Bulletproof. Super Bulletproof Temporary. Watch this. It's utterly Bulletproof because of a glitch. That is cool. Alright, let's go to garage, I think too.
I think there's one on Garage 1, but I think Garage 2 has something too. Yes, so here they are. So, so I might be cruising around in that a lot. I'm still keeping it in my Hoovies garage because that's his dream car. We're going to give him his dream car someplace. I'm sure he'll get it. I'm fairly certain he's a millionaire at this point, so he can find one. But there are supposed to be some new livery options here for the Ellie, which is, again, another car based on a matchbox that I used to play with as a kid. And it's still up on my shelf. And probably I'll we'll have a picture of it somewhere. So armor, yeah, we did all that brakes. The yeah, front bumpers. Didn't really put a splitter on it. Exhaust horn, lights, livery. So what looks closer? We, I mean, we might not change anything. That, the debonair now, is that new? Does that look closer to what I've got? Let's, let's take another break here for a moment. This one's a little bit closer. This is a little bit, a little bit closer to what we had. The other one doesn't have numbers on it. This might have existed when I did the first one, but just because it, it would be nice if it had the boss written on the side like the original did, but hey, can you know we're we're stretching here. We'll go with the we'll go with the cigarette ad, even though I'm not really a cigarettes kind of guy. That's old school racing right there. Exit to it's the ground. We're moving this puppy out. This is going to go in my new high-end stilt house, which I purchased in the last video. It should be this one. Which is going to be my home for cars that I had as a child. And don't worry, you're going to see some big-time uh, money moves coming up here soon. Because I'm going to make a new one. Oh, you know we didn't check. Oh no no no, we're not done yet. We're not 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 done yet. We have to check the hood options. Okay, let's 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 do the time warp again. Ah, no new hood options. Come on. That would have been cool. I really wanted some some Weber intakes on this. It's something weird where it's like mixed in with something else. Engine, like is there an engine? No, there's not an engine thing. Front part, we've already, I think we've already been through all that. Yeah, those are the old ones. All right. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to check out my other car that I'm moving up. See if it has any mo new modifications. And that's the Javelin. Which was a bit of a compromise, too. Because it's hard to get exactly the green I wanted. Some bumpers. I think all of this stuff... Uh, that's. I think that's different. Remove splitters. That's definitely what I would have wanted. It's a classic look. Yeah, that, that's closer to what the, to the, the car was. Oh, I like that. Rear bumpers. Yeah, this looks pretty close. We can leave that for right now. Engine still revved up. Exhaust, dual rear, and grill. Yeah, that works. A lot of customization on this car. You gotta like it. But what I had originally matches, uh, I think. Dark chrome slot. Can we, can we do? Can we do secondary slats.
That kind of chromes everything up. That might be closer. Set and slap grill. Let's go with that. Hood, carbon scoop. Well, they've added some some options here. Uh, I'm going to keep the, the the carbon scoop because I do have a black hood scoop on, even though the hood is. Although I tell you that you know if if, it, if the hood is half black and half green, so no matter what you do, it's going to be half black and half green, and you can just get rid of the carbon altogether. What more? What better represents the car? I feel like I need the black there for a little bit of it, so we're just going to leave the carbon scoop as it is. For as much as I, I kind of like the look of the of the fully, you know, the fully painted. There, there's a part of me that just says feel that this clicks in better. Okay. Exit to ground. I think that's the only other homage car. Oh, there's one other thing I'm going to do with an homage car. It's not going on in the garage either. But let's exit to ground and get this up there. We've still got our, head, our, our yellow headlights. Yep. Not paying attention, are you? Oh, somehow we've lost our location. Okay, let's location, location, location. The Deviant gets a lot of a lot of complaints about it for not handling well and stuff like that. I don't mind it. Let's snap a little bit. I just went to go. Did I tap the brakes and it just snapped around? A little snappy. I don't think it'd be a real successful racer, but it's not, that's not why I have it. I have it because this was a this was a car I used to play with constantly as a kid. I still have it, and to be perfectly honest, there are sometimes I think I need to spend more time playing Matchbox cars. When I do it now, usually with my son, so we're using his. We got newer stuff, you know. The Hot Wheels of today are really cool. I mean, they've really gone detail. They've got a lot of old muscle car kind of stuff. Well, that guy got all hostile just because I took a turn the wrong way. I mean, was... Oh, I thought we took the wrong turn there. Look at that. It looks like the map is happy with it. That's just close enough. GPS for you. Okay, here is the new place. Beautiful garage. It's, again, another one of those impossible house kind of things where you go into a tiny garage and it's huge. And I love every bit of it. So now let us call upon our mechanic. Let's work them. Are we even recording? Yeah. I'm on the yep, spot. yep, yep, yep. All right, let's do a little bit of editing there. Let's go back to two. Bring me the other. As as They're making money like crazy on the on the passive businesses. Like crazy, crazy money. Now, what we're gonna do 
as we're going to buy a car that I'm going to try and build into an homage to another, what should be one of the Toreros. It's a Lamborghini Countach, but I, I don't, but the Toreros don't have enough customization to really capture this. I'm hoping that there's a livery I can work with uh, on this new car and that it'll serve as a proper, proper homage. And that is the Torero XO. It's expensive. I have money. I don't care. The Pegasi Torero gave you an old school porn star, gave you old school porn star heat. The XO is something altogether more glamorous with its powerful angles, edgy lines, and ecstatic propulsion. This is the kind of A-lister who'll break the box office, start a fashion line, squeeze in a developing world photo op, finish up with a full spread in Pussycat Magazine, and say classy every step of the way. And we're going to go with, it's not going to be this color, but we're going to go with red. It's going to be close to this red. I know what color it's going to be. Order, and we're going to put this in the agency. There's room in the agency now. Because finally burned down some of this money that I got for, you know, and we'll, we'll deposit this 50k just to get it all synced up. That will take a little while to deliver. So while we're, while we're waiting for that to deliver, it's going to someplace I can modify it. I don't know if it gets uh, Amani Tech. I don't think it does. Let's check out the house. This is better to let me out back on the, like, the, my other... My other house wouldn't let me outside onto the deck. So I'm hoping this one does. There better be a doorway out to the deck for $800,000. I have a pool. If I can't get to the pool, I'll just be like Rockstar Y. Okay, so this is very nice layout. Again, we have our wine. We have our green juice. We have our porch. We have our completely useless porch. Again, Rockstar, why are you doing this? I want to go out on my porch. Is that that rough? Fine, I need, I need a glass of whiskey. I can't go out on my porch. Kids, don't compensate for stress with whiskey. It's not a good plan. Ugh. He's got heartburn already. I can see it. Um, let's see. So there's this. We have to put down here. Do we do we do we do we do do we do we do. All right, what's in this? Is this the. Okay. This is where there's the other porch you can't go out on, and therefore you can't go out to your pool. I bought this house for the pool, dang it. Same bathroom as the other one. But I do like the, the waterfall effect here. Can I splish splash in it? No. And then I'm taking it that when we go down, this will be down to, oh, look, and there's, it's, 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 it's there, that's good. A little little ante room here where you can relax, listen to music, and then plan completely heinous things. All right. But once again, I can't walk out to out on the deck. The whole point of, of these tilt houses is you have a what? A deck. Um, exit apartment. Can I walk around the, the back side to the darn pool? How do I get to my pool? If I climb up through the plants, and then hop down here, and then hop up over here like I'm trying to break in, and then jump. All right, I can make it out. And again, you can't see in. If I go in the pool, will I change clothes? It's my, this is my pool. Well, this should be like the hot tubs, where you go in and you're swimming. I'm just wet. Can't you? I guess I could go out the back deck this way. Oh, for one of them. <sighs> Have to get a maintenance guy to come and fix a door. So now to go back to the garage, I have to jump over my own wall. Jump up on my wall again. This house is not, not the best design thing here. Let's... Let's head back and get the Torero, shall we? So we go for a drive. Oh, get the wait till you're outside to pull the map up. All right, I guess I think there's buttons you can push, but to the agency.
The Ellie is probably the better driver of the two that I've got here, but the this Torero is going to far exceed. both of these as far as performance. No, we're not killing anyone today. Have a nice day. We not planning on killing anyone today. Maybe maybe it's some maybe I say that now I'm gonna land right on a uh, pedestrian. You know, I was just thinking, that dubstep too, we should work that up and put that up in the Hoovies garage because, you know, I think he owned one and got rid of it. I'm not real sure. But, you know, there should be at least one Mercedes in there. I don't have a lot of Mercedes. And the Sterling, but that certainly counts. We should, you know, we should go in through the, uh, walk in through the garage. He'll get teleported back. Oh, you're in my way. It's a video game. Yeah, in real life, that would be like your whole afternoon is shot. Trying to, you know. That's if the guy doesn't shoot you in real life. You know, there's all kinds of. You don't come, you know, you're, you're on to the next level of, of existence at that point. So, it's real inconvenient if you have plans that afternoon. Let's go down here. Where was it delivered? Okay, so we got this red Torero. Let's let's whoop this up here. Get ready for racing. Bumpers, front bumpers. Stock front bumper. Secondary to Ford splitters. More and more. I want less. I want the least amount. Okay, so we're going to stay stock. Rear bumper. Now, this is kind of interesting. How do we want to play this? That's pretty close, really. That's really kind of dynamically close to where I want it to be. Bumper delete. No, I don't think we're doing that. Again, I want less because I want to match it to the match. I think we're going stock with the stock bumper. That's fine. Canards, none. No, we're not doing any canards. Well, I'll go through them for you here. You can canard it up. So in canards, they have a grill cover. Does that... Not really, no. Not really matching for me. So you got more, more options with the, than just that. But engine, rev it up. Exhaust is just about perfect, really, for what I got. Stock is exactly, yeah, they are all basically variations on the on the theme. So we're gonna leave them stock. Hood, stock hood, single vented hood. Is there one that covers the motor with a bunch of vents? Did they give us really any changes there? No, almost spending money on it, then it's not that much of a difference. Uh, lights, neon kits, neon layout, front, back, sides. The color will depend on if something happens with this livery. Okay, I mean, the one I've got has like green stripes and a big number eight on it. Two tone. That's looks. Yeah, they look. They all look nice. But well, how close can I get here? Not green, but the striping looks right. More so than that. So redwood rally. Be funny if we end up with this. That's all there is. So what do I go with here? Because the 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 green. We have the green stripe going here. I can't get put. There's no numbers for it. No racing numbers on a Lambo. Oh, 
Why is it a motorhome? Do we smoking in a motorhome? Is that the whole? <sighs> Nothing really works here. Nothing. I wish you could pick the color of your pen stripe, man. This is. Two tone just puts a gray over it. Okay, so now we're down to what looks best because we're not going to be able to do a proper homage here, but we're still going to put it in that garage. It would be great without the motorhome. I mean, it's just. I don't understand the cat. All right, we're going to throw a tricolor on there for right now. Play respray. Let's see if maybe maybe we could pull some stuff in here with the the primary is metallic. Wow, what the heck is secondary? Not much. Arena red is that close? I need more of an orange, I think. I'm thinking sunrise orange. Sunrise orange with like a red pearlescent. Not that that's doing much. Sunrise orange didn't even take a pearlescent. Do a Torino red and we'll see how that goes out. Secondary color, metallic. Come on, guys. Really? It's the brakes. That's it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that matched up. Trim color. Well, the trim color was like chrome in this one, but through a blue, uh, what should I call it? So we can. Do some kind of contrast there. Yeah, I could do like a bright blue. I do a diamond blue interior. It'll totally cra clash with the outside, but I'll know what I'm doing. I'm starting to look at this thing. It's still too orange. I want it to be more, a darker orange. Um, let's see. Roof. We can finally go through this. Can we drop the... Can we get an open top? No, we don't want that on this time. Anyway. Uh, skirts. Secondary XL skirts. Like I want less. But if I put some secondary on, would that give me... No, because I'm going to leave... Secondary skirts might be a secondary spoiler. Might be my only way. To get a little green on this thing. Let's go. Secondary Ford's XL skirts. Spoiler. Come on. Something. Nothing secondary. Carbon, let's just go. No secondary ducktail? Come on. The extended ducktail looks a little bit better, I think. Let's duck it. Duck it. That's all. Let's slam the suspension. Transmission. Trunk. Carbon trunk. No, we don't want any of that. None of that fits. 
If only threw a number on it for me, I'd be happy. Turbo, please. Vents, primary vent. Oh, well, that's good. Get rid of the... Uh... Ooh, secondary vent. We have some hope here. Wheels, we're going to keep the... We're just going to do tires. That's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to match the Matchbox style or it's going to even look like it makes any kind of sense. But that's not too far off, I don't think. I think that's fine. Tire enhancements, bang. Tire smoke. Let's go with the... Uh, green might... It's not the either green I want. Windows, light smoke. Now we go back up. And let's go to respray again. Secondary color. Metallic. Where's my lime green at? Where are, the, where are any of the greens? What the heck? I need more secondary on this thing. I mean, that would that would really work it out. We're going to do that. Now the, the, the green on the stripe kind of clashes, so we're going to get rid of that. You see how, how complicated this whole thing is. Livery. That's interesting what it does with the, the whatchamacallit, but not what I want at all. Okay, the white pinstripe kind of goes there, but I wish it was green. Let me try something with the um, with the res one more thing with the respray primary color metallic. Again, there's a lot of ways of making this car look good, but I've got a goal. Go back to the reds. Lava red looks closer. I think lava red. Looks way closer to what I wanted to do. Blaze red's not far off either. I think lava is a little bit closer, and let's check the pearlescent. What happens if we put like a lime green for pearlescent on it? I think it makes it kind of ugly. <laughs> we don't. We're not doing that. No. Sunrise or I think that mix there more more closely approximates what I was looking for. So now we go back to now. Now we go back to livery. White Pegasi. Two tone. No. Red pinstripe is almost disappears. I didn't even see that one before. Really. That's like a no. Again, I can work with that. It wasn't for the, the logo. It's being not... Split digital makes no sense to me. I mean, it's just... <sighs> I think the white pinstripe, even though there's no white, there are black pinstripes on this. Is there a black pinstripe option? No. It just, just, just denying me everything. All right, so we're gonna use white instead of black. The green, we've, we've, we've tried to, to pick up as much as we can. Are there any? Let's, let's look at the body options again here. Bumpers, front bumpers. Secondary splitter, secondary forward splitter. We can pick up some green there. And it does break the lines a little bit, you know, for what the, what the car is, but we want some green. And not a little. I want a lot of green. Come on, give me something with some green. Oh, fine. There you go. Bumper, secondary diffuser. That gives us something. 
I don't want the Batmobile, I just want some green. Canards. I wasn't really going for canards, but do they have secondary canards? No, of course they don't have secondary canards. Um, hood. Nothing, nothing there says secondary. Lights. Neon kits. Neon color. Can we get some lime green going here? All right, so we can get some green there. Because the car had a lot of green on it. Livery we're done with. Roof. Can you give me a secondary option? No. Skirts we already did. Spoiler, nothing. Nothing helping us here. We we'll love a little green spoiler there. We're not getting it. And I think trunk. Yep, no nothing secondary going there. Why would they not have a secondary option on the I think I think we might be done here. Vents we already did. Wheels. I could try to do something with green wheels. But that really wouldn't match the car either, so fine. I think I think we're done here. It's as close as an homage as I can get, and it's really kind of a stretch. Didn't have the options I wanted, but we're, we're going to take this up. I mean, this is a car that I wanted. I mean, I like how it turned out, but not as much. It's not. It's not as close to what you know. I was shooting for. Hey, give me on. Okay, let's just move on here. Let's get up the hills. This isn't the new fastest, but I mean, I think it could have a lot of potential and stunts. I don't think it'll uh, it'll outdo the Devastate necessarily, but it's got it's got a pretty good top end on it. I think it's close to the Devastate's top end. Yeah, it's not going to outhandle say a Krieger but you know there's a lot of stunt races where you don't need a lot of handling and this should have enough it might have more than the whoa it might have more than some other cars of note I did the same thing again doesn't have a good turn radius necessarily. All right, uh, heave it in there. Next test up. No, that's mine. Um, let's back it in. There we go. So it's got green. It's got white instead of black. But the main thing is we now have the, the Trail XO, so that's available for races. I don't think I have any other homage stuff. I mean, I'm gonna put other stuff in here. This is just gonna be another garage of cars I like. I think yeah. I mean, I have homages to real cars, but there's a whole garage dedicated to that. I'm not gonna move them all around. And cars from my actual life. But I tell you what we're going to try to do. Let's see. Services. Kutsaka. Can't call up Mike? Okay, fine. That must be considered a car. Because you see there's another matchbox thing. And it's, it, it involves uh, involves this puppy. What the hell is he even called? I haven't used it in so long. What you want? Some wheels? The Toreador. It's on the way. I did the Tory door in a nice gold finish because I was gonna I thought I had a matchbox of this. And I have it here someplace. Rustle through the desk. And the one that I found 
that I thought was this one. It might be partially involved with it. Daggummit, where did I put it? I want to get the name off them. I have them both here. Here we go. I thought, the car that I thought it was, was actually a, a Vauxhall uh, show car. And it turned out not to be based on that. And I thought, oh, well, that's disappointing. So I wasn't going to do it up. But then I finally found the, the, uh, the Lamborghini Marzal matchbox that I did have. And we're going to put, put that up on the screen here. There's probably a lot of work that goes on with this. I'm like, oh, yeah, I did have that. And, yeah, I'm looking at it now. That's really... It's, it's interesting because they've given this one a longer nose, but pretty much the same headlights. And maybe the Matchbox just was a little bit, you know, shorter on the ends or something like that. But that's very close. So what we need to do is we need to take this down and get this repainted so it matches the Matchbox car. It could be an orangey-pink kind of thing. And I don't know where I'm going. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... We get some place where we can get an angle. <laughs> just heat this thing into the sky. No. Get me out of the hills. There you go. There we go. That'll work. That's one way to get out of the hills. Can we land it? Poof. Hey, that's what. See, I could get. I could get to the. Oh, this is like completely stuck, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Um. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh that, that. See, we need to get that up like that and let it stay there, so I could get another yeet. Well. I got an idea. I got, it's, it's a bad idea, but we're just going to just change sessions. And again, don't get me wrong. I love the gold look of this. I really do. It's a beautiful car. But now I finally have a chance, now that I know I found the car, I get a chance to match this to the one of the ones I used to play with as a kid. Hey, how can you not? How can you not? Okay, so this is all dutied up that way. Um, livery, I don't think we're really going to go with... Um, anything? Where did I just put the car? It's, it wasn't really a liveried car. Yeah, you know, sprint stripes and all that kind of stuff. No, so we're gonna leave it simple. Um, let's see, louvers. It does. It did have louvers. Is there a different pattern to them? Yeah, these these were kind of a squared, slanted kind of thing. I can't tell what's going on there. That's... I think we're gonna leave the the primaries as it is. I think all, the main thing we're gonna do here is the respray. So primary color. We're gonna go metallic. I'm kind of getting to like the bright oranges here. I mean, it's it's a peach. It's a peach color. Bright orange is almost a little bit too yellow. I'm thinking sunrise. Well, yeah, we want to take a little bit more, a little more red. And then we have to jazz it up with the pearlescent to make it a little more peachy. So it's, that's really very localized. Let's see, Fister Pink. There's once again, it's 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 a it's a bunch of compromises here. What about salmon? Salmon disappears. Hot pink is a little too much, maybe. Let's have the, the best effect, though. What I want is a lighter orange with the... No, I think that's... That's probably one of the best ways we can do this. 
So it comes down to that and, and fist or pink. Much more subtle. Might be better in the light this way. Let's hold that thought for a moment, and let's go to secondary color. Well, let's see, do, do, can we still, we'd have to repaint it, I think. Is there, if I go to, if I go to primary color, back to metallic, if we go for a pink with orange? Let's go with the regular, let's see what the regular orange looks like with the... The pink pearlescence. Where are my pinks? Much less effect for it. You almost have to go with the hot pink just to get an effect, it looks like. Mr. Pink. Yeah, let's just do the hot pink on that, and then we'll see how it looks in regular light here. And for the, for the secondary... I think we're going to dig this like it's the bottom of the Hot Wheels car here. Or do we just want to go with and that would match the uh, that that doesn't capture the car though that not even the salmon pink would really capture the car you can make it match up slightly darker orange on the secondary just keep it all orange. Let's just keep it all orange. Again, not a not a perfect capture here, but I think we, if the highlights catch just right. And what was the um, no sun strips? I think this is one of the few cars I did not put light smoke on. It it's getting light smoke now. Wish I could give it orange uh, tint. Arguably not as attractive a car as the gold with the cream. But this is much closer to what I had as a kid. And that was kind of my goal. Oh, and then it just, oh, it just rolled off the desk. Dad, gum it. I did have a thought, though. I just had a thought. It's, it involves playing with the secondaries. I'm just going to look at this. Can I capture a little bit of the, the yellow in the, in the window? This is back in the days when they used to use yellow plastic for the windows. Like that was going to be a thing. Let's go secondary for a minute here. It does gain a lot of character from the secondary, so we can we, we're we're in the realm of it could be an homage and not a perfect kind of thing. Can we get like get me back to that? Well, not white. Where's my yellows? Where are my yellows at? Kind of like Bob Ross. Like now we need a little bit of race yellow. Or just regular yellow. So what if we did something along those lines? Or maybe even gold. Maybe we'll go back to gold on this. Oh, the gold pick up the paint. 
Let's try gold. It's cheap enough. Then you go back out to louvers. Put the secondary sprint louvers on. Okay, that looks not necessarily good. <laughs> I don't know that it would look good with yellow. Let's let's try the secondary color matte, not matte, metallic, yellow, and then if you did the, the louvers. Well, that really just is not called to me. Okay. It was worth the shot. I think we should definitely do a secondary, some kind of secondary there. Leave the louvers as they are. We'll still two-tone it. Respray, secondary, metallic what? Or maybe. I mean, go brush steel. Or pure gold, brush gold. Or we could go completely evil. I feel like that's what it needs. I feel like it needs the chrome. I can live with this now. That's that that something clicked in there. I don't know what. I mean, do I want the chrome louvers now? Not really. No, no. I think I, I like the way this has worked out. This looks like a car that is made for yeeting itself around and going in water. And you know, there's we have to do. We have to do the jump. Jump we always do. Don't even really need a lot of a, a lot of power there because we can just yeet. Doesn't even count as a stunt jump because it's a rocket car. Okay. And this will be going back to the Kotsaka. And that's the, that should be the last of my uh, matchbox homages. Let's let's move this one car up to uh, the Hoobie's garage, though. Didn't see that video we talked about doing this. Very nice. This is going to pretty much take me back to where I'm at. We've got a big setup. It's a neutral point. It's where I don't really have to worry about, you know, no other plans for the fleet. Yeah, the dragger. I know. Don't, don't, I didn't forget about you. But this thing, the Dubsta 2, which we're going to do experiments with. Maybe we should wait to uh, move this until we're done with the experiments. I think we're in a better location. Let's get it hopped up. Do we want the snorkel? No, nah, that's not what this is for. No, we're not, we're not going too weird with this one. You can. Lights, neon kit, neon layout, I don't know what color it's going to be. Respray, we can just pick something. We're going to be trying to get the chrome ones, so we don't want them getting mixed up. I know, so we just stick with the silver. Like a shadow of silver. If it's going to Hoobie's Garage Mode, I think that was like the color he had. It was like a silver of some nature I okay, got let's let's go with a with a uh, 
brushed aluminum. There you go. Because we can. Roof, roof rack. No, I'm going to leave it. It's probably, yeah, right. Roof rack with spotlights is probably the way to go. Suspension. Leave it alone. It's it's a truck. Transmission. Do do do. Turbo it. Wheels, tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof tires should be good enough. Is that does it come with limo? Let's leave it limo. We'll exit this. We'll leave it here for right now. The farmhouse is going crazy. We're going to have to work on that. Yeah, you know what? We'll do. We'll just let's let's get it reparked. We just realized I could take my my Richie Z green. You know, Cherokee there, and then paint it brown. I think that'll that'll actually fit a Hoovy car, but eh. Richie Trump's Hoovy. Oh, we're too high, high up. It's too high. By the way, Dubster Two is the slower version of the two because it doesn't get the benefit of the spoiler. The center. So if you have that wheel a little bit more to the middle, and on a regular Dubster, it acts, acts as a spoiler. This does not. It's a decoration. Because nothing needs to make sense. Now, I'm just about out of time for what I'm going to do here making videos today. Anywho. I don't know when I'm going to try and, and steal another. Prove that this is a Dubsta 2 versus a Dubsta. And that you can spawn the chrome big money Dubstas. And certainly that's not like a, a meta way of making money anymore. But you'd like to have options. Options are good, as MGO will tell you. Transformers, people know who I'm talking about. Hey, I made the turn properly for a change. Um, let's see, am I going to the right house? Yes, I am. Think. Or is that the good house? That's the, no, it's the wrong one. We have to go to this one. That's the that's the other house. Going to the I'm going to the homage the matchbox house versus the uh, the Hoovy house. I think Kubi would like having this in the garage because, I mean, it is an absolutely... The G-Wagons are ridiculous. I mean, for what they are. The price. Just unbelievable. And I went to the wrong place again. Why am I doing that? I don't know where I'm going. It's all the way up here. All right, fine. We'll continue off into the hills. You know, yeah, you got 11,000 hours in GTA, and you even need to use the map. It's just what it is. So much of that was idling anyway. Alrighty, then I turned for me. I don't care. I got a big heavy car and it's gonna be all fixed instantly. And look at this, it barely fits in through the door. And poof. Now this this could this garage is almost filled, I think. I think we've got like one more spot. Huh. Well I can always move the sterling over to my matchbox house because that's that's a doing double duty here. And uh, there you have it. On that note, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.